Welcome to You Dab Me at Hello. I am RJ, as always, with Mike on Andy. Uh, <laughs> you guys are in this screen for me, and so every time I'm introducing you, sometimes I'll get a glimpse of the dumb face Andy's making in the corner. <laughs> it throws me off completely. That's just his regular face. Yeah. <laughs> I look, and he's like... <laughs> um, sorry, hey, how are you guys? Greatest show, Mandy. <laughs> I'm here. My audio is all screwed up right now, so this is awesome. You sound fine on on our side. Well, I mean, I'm watching your mouth move. Yeah, and the audio is doing something else. So, yeah. um, oh, we're being but, uh, we're being filmed in Japan now, and uh, we had to pay someone to do our voice acting, so that's why it doesn't <laughs> sync up. Mike, can you just like mouth and I'll talk for you? And it's just... hello, how are you? My name is Mikey Mike and the Bunch of Crunch. Andy's like hearing this 10 minutes later. <laughs> <laughs> no, you laughed pretty quick. You laughed pretty good. Uh, yeah, hey, how's everybody going? Hey, thanks, Tim. I actually, I did uh, put this up a little bit because I thought, hey, uh, I don't think we can we can show that. I, I don't own it. Uh, so. But what if it said Dr. Bob? Mm. Well, then, hey, that's freebie for everybody. But you it's also... Like 25 cent cans. You also bought that at the store. So does that mean you own the rights to that shirt? Yeah. Right. I mean, they would probably like block it out if I was on a TV show, right? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Uh, maybe. I don't know. Yeah, we are as we, famous as we don't uh, get paid a TV show. We don't get paid to do this. That's true. We That's get true. paid in I, love. I've been getting paid <laughs> since the beginning. What? Oh God! What's going on with my hair, man? Okay, I got I some know. crazy stuff going on right now. I don't know. It's all gray. I'm graying. It's really bad. That's fine. Um, be a silver but fox. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Like a silver horse who needs to be shot. Um, but hey, we're here today. And if, in case you're confused, uh, today's episode oh, is about movie performances by people who are in music. Uh, whether that was before or after or whatever. We kind of changed it because we did that. We actually put it together. And then Andy was like, wait, I think that dude became a musician after. We're like... Yeah, F it. We'll just keep it in. Just um, keep going. So, yeah. So this is a mix of people who are in music at some point in their lives and also in movies. Mm. Uh, so I'm pretty excited about it. We had a huge list. Uh, I'm a little disappointed about some of mine that didn't make it in there, but that's because I think the whole cast of Four Brothers should be in here. Um, but, yeah. Uh, Mike, okay. have you even seen the Four Brothers? Because I feel like you ditched Four Brothers every time you got a chance. I did not. Um, it was a movie that I wanted to see and then just never got around to watching it. And it's a movie. Uh, Andy, I've... I know I say this a lot, but it's one of the best movies ever made. Yeah. I mean, here's the really picture is. three brothers, but then add another brother onto it mm. and four brothers. So it yeah, would be yeah. like if we added a fourth host, yes. uh, but we're not related um, and Correct. um not bad. And one of us was a little flamboyant <laughs> and the other three made fun of it a lot, but you never really knew. Oh, That's what the four okay. And you killed our mother. Oh, yeah. I mean, not you, somebody. I don't like this at all. Yeah. It's a great. Movie. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but yeah, it's, I mean, it's got everybody: Mark Wahlberg, Andre Three Thousand, Tyrese, uh, that fourth guy, Garrett Headland. Uh, <laughs> that fourth guy. <laughs> <laughs> who would be our fourth um, guy if we had a fourth <laughs> dad? Who would be our fourth dad? Uh, I don't know. I mean, Pete has been on the show quite often. Pete could uh, be it. Pete. He's not a dad though. Uh, Randy Miser. Randy, Randy Miser. He is dad. We've had a couple people. I mean, Billy has been on the show a bunch of times. That dude has a lot of children, probably. Um, Listen, if we're uh, getting a fourth person, we got to go all out and got to get like somebody like Ric Flair or something. Yeah. Uh, Ric sure. Flair, he, he hates all his podcast people. <laughs> That's a thing that happened. Oh, uh, but anyways, hey. Oh, well, look at that. Nana's watching with Kate Mori. Hello. Hey. Nice. Hey, I don't Kate know who that Murray. is, but hey, how are you? I'm excited uh, for today's podcast because just because, but uh, oh. 
we have we have a cool music video to show at the end and oh yes we got dad jokes with the fart noises and <laughs> that's true it's, it's always it's like, fun it's like every other week <laughs> That's I know. True. Well, every, every not, just, other than the music video later, the true. music video is rare. Uh, as Andy just mentioned, uh, we're releasing a new song for the first time. Is this the first 2022 song? Yeah. Yeah, it is. Yeah, this, this is our first 2022 song. So that's coming out tomorrow on everywhere you can find music, including Deezer. Um, <laughs> so go check it out. Uh, it's called The First Time, uh, along with three remixes of that song called The Last Time and other things that I can't remember. Um, the one other time another the, yeah this is the another last <laughs> the, time the very last time and the very last time yeah the first um time. But that's going to be available for free on uh, spotify on youtube on deezer on amazon <laughs> google all that deal uh so check it out but uh here's a quick promo if you stay until the end of the episode you will get the full uh song uh, along with a great music video that andy has made it's the first music video that andy's made for us um, and so I'm, I'm excited because I didn't have to do it. Um, plus, it's actually pretty good. So, uh, yeah. So check it out. I have more fears than hopes, more dreams than reality. My head is hurt. I'm tired. I'm tired. Hey. If you're excited, great. Stick stick around. If you're like, dude, I don't know why that guy's screaming. There's also <laughs> some singing in it too, and a little rap from a friend, the greatest show, Mandy. So check it out. What? But that's it. Huh? Uh, thank you for joining in, guys. Uh, have a great night. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah. Um, <laughs> this is all just a vehicle to reveal the new song. There is no bracket. <laughs> yes. So hey, here we are. We have everything from Andre 3000 in the greatest movie ever made, Four Brothers. Uh, <laughs> ever made, versus he says. Madonna's League of Their Own, one of the greatest movies of the 90s of all time. I'm excited. <laughs> yeah, this is going to be interesting. I don't know who the hell is going to win. Yeah, I know. This is a tough one because I have not looked at the bracket, really. I kind of just threw it together, didn't concentrate. Uh, it was randomized it. That's it. Nice. A lot of these movies I haven't seen since they came out, too. So that's true. That's true. It may not be as I'd good as I remember. <laughs> We're like, oh, there's oh, Sister Act 2. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there's one on here I'm really interested to talk about because we put it on here. And then the reviews I was reading was like, this is terrible. <laughs> so we'll, we'll talk. About I'm, I'm wondering which one that is because yeah. uh, right. we'll get into there's it. There's not too many on here that I think are terrible. There's some that I'm just not my thing. But they're regarded as probably one of the best movies, you know, of that time frame. But Tim is asking me how many movies of these have I seen? Let me go through my list. This might be um, this might be the first bracket where Andy has seen more of these than I have. I think there's <laughs> one movie on here that I have not seen. So that's pretty damn good. And that was The Wizard of Oz. No, just <laughs> <laughs> He saw the whiz, so that counts. <laughs> the, uh, the Italian that doesn't count for anything. Oh, so good. All right. but, wait, which one haven't you seen? The Italian, the Italian job. job. What? You haven't seen that? That's such a good and fun movie. Mark Wahlberg's in that as well. Maybe you haven't seen Boys anymore. in the Hood. We'll get into that. That's that's true. Yeah, I apologize. I probably have, but it was on basic cable in, like, <laughs> in the 90s. So. That loses it's its true. effect. <laughs> when they were uh, you know what i did watch today by the way guys Dis noises. i watched scream 2022 uh don't tell me how paramount plus it was good i liked it you should definitely watch it it's it's just like the scream movies if you enjoyed any of the scream movies you will enjoy scream 2022 it's just it's we're, fun it's fun. we're re-watching them so we've we've watched okay. the first one and the second one so far, uh, we're gonna. Good make it I've forgotten how many people are in those movies. It's ridiculous how many people are in those movies. Hayden Panettiere is in that. I was uh, in one. Rose McGowan, uh, uh, Leave Schreiber, uh, everybody. Yeah. What's everybody. What's awesome is you can actually say that you were in. Like I was in the crowd and Scream Two at the beginning in the theater, but you can't tell because I had the mask on. That's right. That's that's true. They all. Hey, uh, the other thing before we get into it, uh, the three of us are actually going to be together in person. Uh, next Wednesday in uh, Boston, Massachusetts, we're going to the mm -hmm. Ganis Arena to go see AEW Dynamite uh, and Rampage. And Rampage. Very excited. Yeah. Yeah. We're going to be on the sixth row. So take a look. We'll be to the right of the ring if you're watching AEW. 
Um, so it's going to be good. It's going to be good. I'm excited. It's going to be a long, exciting evening. Yes. Yes. This will be what, Andy? Our third AEW show uh, at Aganis, yeah. I think. Yeah. And uh, Mike's first with My us. My first. Yeah. Yeah. Very cool. Back back into Anyways, the wrestling. Uh... Uh, back into the wrestling scene. <laughs> Well, here we are. We're going to go start yeah. off strong. Andre 3000 from Outcast in Four Brothers uh, versus Tupac uh, Shakur in Juice. So uh, we've, got, uh, we've got a battle of hip hop pioneers. Oh, I don't say pioneers, but hip hop legends. Um, it, so it, Juice it, is the one I haven't seen, guys. Uh, so yeah. I'm going with Four Brothers. Greatest movie ever made. So, so I, I have to do the opposite, Andy. So I apologize because I have not seen Four Brothers. Did did I not have Andre Three Thousand for a different movie on the list? You might have. You might have. Yeah, yeah. I like Andre uh, Three Thousand, and I like Outcast. Yeah, um, he's great in this movie too. I'm he's sure the he's sensical. He's the 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 sensical guy of of the Four Brothers. He's like, hey, let's stay calm, dude. Like, chill. Um, I'm sure he's a fine actor in that movie. He is. He's great. Um, with as good of a performance he gave, I, I got to go with Tupac uh, and Juice. Oh, I hate you so much, <laughs> guys. You're, you're kicking out. You're cooking. You're cooking out a John I'm Singleton. Cooking. I wish I was cooking out. I could. Go 2005, for a Four Brothers: Mark Wahlberg, Tyrese, Andre, Three Thousand, Garrett Hedlund. Not to oh. mention, let's talk about oh. Terrence Howard and We're only kicking Josh out. Charles. Andre yeah. 3000 for Four Brothers, because surprise, we have another actor from. Yeah, we yes, didn't. But Andre's better than Tyrese in this movie, so I just ah, uh, you're you're. I have no hope that Tyrese you, is going to make it any further than no, Eminem over at Eight Mile. No, you definitely should. Um, <laughs> if you haven't, if you haven't seen Juice, Tupac gave uh, just a terrific performance. We'll we'll get into that, but all right. Well, what do you first up, Four yeah. Brothers. Everyone needs to see this movie. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, they are they are obviously adopted. It's Mark Wahlberg and Garrett Hedlund and Andre 3000 and Tyrese. They all play uh, adopted uh, sons of a, uh, an elderly woman uh, who ends up being killed in a convenience store uh, shooting. Uh, they come home to go to the funeral and Mark Wahlberg being Mark Wahlberg's like, dude, we got to catch whoever did this. And they go off on a rampage trying to find out who killed their elderly mother. Um, Terrence Howard is in it. Uh, the, the, the comedy is, is gold in that, uh, Garrett Hedlund's awesome in it. Um, you feel for everyone in that movie super good. Um, but that would have been my vote. I'm, I'm disappointed. If you haven't seen it, Mike definitely got to watch four brothers. It's on my list. It was once on my list. Uh, now I guess I, I I'm going to, I'm going to kill the name, but Chewedle, 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 Cheadle is also Cheadle? in this movie. No. Uh, the dude from Chewbacca, uh, the dude from <laughs> Doctor Strange, he's also in um, uh, 12 Years a Slave, uh, he's in uh, Sherlock Gnomes, uh, just a bunch of stuff. You know, <laughs> what is Sherlock Gnomes? <laughs> <What? laughs> he is, excuse me, it is a great kids' movie. Uh, you know who it is, look him up. I'm actually mad that you don't know him offhand. Uh, I probably do, but. Look him up right now as we start. All right, let's move but on to the next bracket. Look him up right now. Somewhere. Me? I'm not the one who doesn't know Chewedle. <laughs> Look, the real reason I didn't vote Thank for Andre you. 3000 yes, was because he was voted the sexiest male vegetarian in 2004. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Time out. What? <laughs> he... Andre 3000 was voted the sexiest male vegetarian oh, yeah. in 2004. I've, that's hilarious. Have you ever seen the Key and Peel sketch about Outcast? Yes. <laughs> Absolutely hilarious. Because, like, big boys, you know, all serious, and Andre 3000 is all dressed up. Like, <laughs> he orders like a <laughs> shamrock something, whatever. <laughs> oh, he's like, what are you saying? It's hilarious. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, right, just man. watch that now. So yeah, sorry. So Tupac that. is moving on. Next mm -hmm. up, we've got Whitney Houston in The Bodyguard uh, versus uh, Judy Garland in The Wizard of Oz. These are actually two powerhouses, man. I agree. Uh, a little, little disappointed. However, uh, I don't remember much of The Bodyguard <laughs> other than Kevin friggin' Costner's in it, and he's the man. Uh, but I am going to go with Judy Garland, The Wizard of Oz, for sure. I'll Andy, I chose second last time. You go. Yeah, I'll make it easy. Uh, Judy Garland, Wizard of okay. Oz. Yeah, I feel like 
Whitney got seated in a in a rough part of the bracket here because <laughs> she well, she could have been a finalist here, but Judy well, Garland yeah. and the Wizard of Oz did, is classic. Did she though? So this was the movie I was talking about that um when I was reading the reviews about this movie, they were basically saying like the performances by Whitney and Kevin Costner um were not great. Uh, they actually received seven nominations at the 13th Golden Raspberry Awards, including Worst Picture, Razzies. Worst Actor, and Worst Actress. Um, so I'm a little surprised by that because I'd always heard too. good things about it. I mean, this is the second highest grossing film of 1992 and the 10th highest grossing film of all time. Yeah. Me too. I, I enjoyed the movie. I thought her performance was good. Um Again, I haven't seen it in in some years, but I I remember I remember liking it, and obviously, the "I Will Always Love You" uh, song I think probably blew up the movie even yeah. more because that smash hit right one of the best songs of all time. So, uh, so. I will admit I, I'm looking it up now in the official Razzie movie guide. It is one of the 100 most enjoyably bad movies ever made. So I guess it could fall into like this is. Like still fun to watch, but it's bad. Yeah, you know, and there's so, plenty of movies out there like that. Like what, when I was doing my research about this, uh, I, I stumbled upon a note um, in some story about the movie, where you know it was talking about this being Whitney's um, debut as an actress, and she was really self conscious about her acting abilities. And right before the movie was not right before, but before the movie was about to start shooting, she had asked the director, uh, Mick Jackson, uh, if she should take acting lessons. Yes, Mick Jagger. Um, um, (laughs) And the director said, no, the last thing I want you to do is take acting lessons because he wanted her performance to be natural. Um, But then she only did what she was told like basically was directed but didn't act (laughs) so she just did everything literally so maybe that explains the the poor acting performance how could she do bad next to kevin costner i mean this is robin hood prince of thieves this is field of dreams uh this is the postman uh (laughs) message in a bottle uh this dude knows what he's doing i feel like he should have guided her better yeah water world (laughs) <laughs> is that him? <laughs> is he water? He's not Waterworld. That's the other dude. That's not. Uh, that's not him. No. That, who's uh? Is that a? Uh, what's his name? The the Passion of the Christ guy. Um. Mel Gibson. Oh crap! No, it's Kevin Costner. Yeah, yeah. I was like, what? <laughs> I thought it was Will. I thought it was Mel Gibson. Uh, nope. All right. Well, hey, Waterworld's not Smith. not one of his better movies, but whatever. Mm-hmm. Well, hey, Brooks. here we are. Oh. That was a great comment. Mr. Brooks is an awesome movie. Is that the one with like Dane Cook? Yes. Yep. Okay. You know what? I never see that. I never saw Wait, that. Wait, what? Wow. Yeah. That's, yeah. Dane, Dane Cook's in a good movie? Fantastic. Yeah, Dane yeah. Cook uh, is you know, it's this is a strange movie too. Uh, is Dane Cook away, good in a good movie or yes. is he Dane Cook? Yes. No, he's good. He's good. Oh, okay. He's like first right. album Dane Cook. Okay. You know? All right. That is actually the 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 tire Mary. murdered Mary. That that's the type of day. Okay. Cook. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but anyway, say so here we are. Will Smith in Bad Boys uh, versus uh, Yasin Bey in the Italian Job, or as people might have remembered him most deaf um, in the Italian Job remake. I yeah. <laughs> look look, Tim. We are okay. did something happen until, this week. Yeah. Smith. So until you brought this up, we weren't going to talk about it. Uh, excuse me. I was um, always going to talk. About oh, okay. <laughs> Oh man, debate night! Man, uh, the Oscars were listen, wild. We do not do slapstick comedy. <laughs> <laughs> no, no slapsticks. Do we slap rocks? Guys, this isn't the first time this has happened. Do you guys remember when he slapped a reporter too? He backhanded uh, a reporter for trying to kiss. It him was kind of like a. a he was kind of, yeah. It was a. It was like a whack. Like, and he's got a hand that's bigger than my face. Like, boom! You get hit with that. It's like a brick. Like, he's got <laughs> big hands, man. But anyways, um, I love both of these movies a ton. Uh, Bad Boys has got some great action, great comedy. But the Italian job is so fun. And there's so many good people in it. Um, it did and, have a great you know, cast. 
I don't think Mostef has hit anybody. So I don't know. I'm, I'm torn. That that we know of. I'm I'm <laughs> I'm going with Bad Boys on this one. It was one of my first like favorite movies. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go really with the good. Italian job on this one. I know I'm outnumbered. Yeah, you're outnumbered because I haven't seen it, so it it might be different. Oh, you really? Could we do a Four Brothers Italian job movie night? Oops. I mean, that sounds. I mean, well, I was gonna say that sounds good, but I can only take so much Marky Mark. Uh, he's only one of like eight main characters in the in the Italian yeah, job. Yeah. The Italian job is very uh, stacked when it comes yeah. to um, yeah, Charlize people. Though, I mean, we're talking about Seth Green's yeah. in there, Edward yeah. Norton. I own it. Uh, Jason yeah. Statham, uh, Donald freaking Sutherland is in it. Oh yeah. Um, it's super good. Plus, I think for like five years after that, everybody wanted one of those small cars. Yeah, uh, one of the Mini RJ. Coopers. Yeah, hey, RJ. What? What happens when you slap a rock? You go back to your seat and then you get a Grammy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that was a good dad joke. You could have used that. Ah, that really? I just came up with it. I didn't think it was. Yeah, that's fun. good. Yeah. Oh wow, okay. Um, maybe, yeah. Maybe I've so, I mean, somewhere, but I'm you get sure a, I came up. You get a trophy of your wife. I don't know if I have much <laughs> else to say about the Italian job. It's just a fun uh action-packed movie uh yeah. i thought it was really really good um box office performance was fine um you know i don't think it was anything over the top but um it is a remake of what a 60s movie i think 1969 is the italian job yeah i never saw yeah. that one so i apologize to the people who love the original but you also should definitely good. go and check it out it's a fun one yeah. yep also good so so i haven't seen the so I, like i said i haven't seen the movie but i do know most def as a musician and <clears throat> Uh, one of the most gifted lyricists of all Agreed. time. Um, his stuff with Black Star, him as a solo artist. Um, if you ever heard um, Kanye West's two words, like one of like the best verses ever. Um, <laughs> it, I mean, Oh No is another great song. Miss Fat Booty, Mathematics. Like he's done, he, he's one of my favorite hip hop artists. Uh, it was just a ton um, of hits ton of hits you know underground type of artist uh, but it got a lot of mainstream appeal because of just how good he was um it still is like he does he and if from an acting standpoint um if you've ever seen Chappelle's show uh he was he did a, some guest spots on there all the time and he was he's just freaking <coughs> hilarious um yeah so um, um i had forgotten about it but uh, i I probably would have included some other movies. He's good in the Italian job, but he is great in 16 Blocks. Um, if you haven't seen that, it's him and Bruce Willis and David Morse. Uh, oh, basically, yeah. uh, he plays a, a prisoner who has to be transported uh, to the courthouse 16 blocks away um, by Bruce Willis. And uh, all these cops essentially want to kill him. And Bruce Willis has to fight other uh, cops to, to keep him safe. Super good. He does really good in that. Uh, and he's also, my wife reminded me, he's in The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy as well. Oh, uh, uh, yeah. I am, I'm not that a fan was... of that movie, but my wife loves it. It's um, really good. Yeah. He, um, so. he, he was one of the people that were like, oh, crap, he was actually an actor before he was technically. No, this is the one who was in music first. Yeah. Most definitely. He, he did music. Uh, no, I think his music career was in, well, most prior to his right off IMDb or wherever I got this from prior to his career, music, <laughs> Mostef entered public life as a child actor with roles in television, film, sitcoms, and theater. All right. All right. I mean, I don't, so unless, yeah, unless he was rapping at like four years old, he could have been, <laughs> he could have been he put out a single on raucous records maybe at that, at that point. But, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Next up, we have Zendaya from The Greatest <laughs> Showman uh, versus Ice Cube in uh, Boys Into Hood. Uh, Greatest Showman seems like a stretch uh, on this one for us, but I actually really enjoyed that movie a lot. Yeah. Um, not to mention, I really enjoy Zendaya. She's from also Spider-Man, uh, which I would have put on here as well. Um, she doesn't have a huge uh, role in that one like she does in The Greatest Showman, but um, I'm actually really liking her in the last couple of movies, not to mention she's in a really, really big uh, TV show called Euphoria, uh, which I have not seen, uh, but my wife loves it. Um, so uh, my vote's going to be Zendaya on this one. Yeah, uh, I got to go with 
Ice Cube. Yeah. Yeah. This is yeah. this is the night where I'm gonna get outvoted <laughs> on everything. I think <laughs> that's because you watch weird movies that I've this never movie seen. made it on here, so I'm not alone. One of you no, watched this. I, as well. I also voted it for was, it was uh, greatest show Mandy, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, my daughter watches it all the time. It's it's yeah, blame uh, the kid. Yeah. Oh, what well, she watches all the time. This but is I got the greatest it. show. <laughs> oh, this is the greatest show. Yeah. And uh yeah, it's no, sorry, I can't Daya. partake. Yeah, Zendaya was another one. I believe was acting before she was singing. Uh, um, she was a backup dancer, I believe. Oh my word! Uh, wait, hold on. Yeah, she started as a backup okay, dancer with Selena Gomez, Ross Lynch, Leo Har Howard, and other kids in a Sears commercial. Oh, uh, oh she's my. also makes an appearance in Taylor Swift's Bad Blood, which was on one of yeah. our uh, prior yeah. episodes as it well, was. which is a great. Um, there was oh, our music, uh, music videos episode. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. But yeah. Um, if you haven't seen Greatest Showman, you got to go see Greatest Showman. It's it's a really good yeah. movie. Um, it's a fun musical. I think it's a little, I think they kind of got a little bit of flack of like how more so of the writing of the movie. Like maybe it's not as historically correct, but it's, it's a movie. Um, no, they definitely romanticize um, yeah, P. T. the circus. And, yeah. 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 Um, but I, I don't think anyone's looking for <laughs> historical accuracy in the musical of The Greatest Showman. But um, I actually really enjoyed it. I had I had no idea what I was getting into when I watched this. The kids wanted to watch it. And um, yeah, I, I enjoyed it. Hugh Jackman's really, really good. Um, Zac Efron's in this, who's turned into a really good actor over time. Right. I mean, I never thought Zac Efron would turn into as good as an actor. Like as a he serious has. actor. Yeah. I yeah. Mean, uh, Michelle Williams I mean, is in it. She's yeah. really, really good. I mean, after you watch um, High School Musical for like the tenth time, you were like, "I can see how this guy is going on." <laughs> All right, I guess um, I like him. He was uh, in a movie that I just saw, so I, I got on this kick where I was, I got on this kick where I was watching these like really bad raunchy comedy movies, and one of them was Neighbors, I think it was, uh, uh, yeah. with Seth Rogen, really good, and he yeah. becomes he's in the second one, I think. Um, so that was that was super funny. But that was on one yeah. of our lists. Was it? Yeah, I, I enjoyed it. It's a good one. Uh, but yeah, hey, grandpa too. Not, not dirty grandpa. Uh, yes, he was. One with, um, was it? Was it? Is that what it was? Or called? bad grandpa? Bad, bad grandpa. grandpa. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. One of those. Um, all right. Well, hey, uh, this is actually a battle of classic movies uh, here. A little bit. Uh, we got okay. Olivia Newton John uh, from Greece uh, and Lauren Hill from Sister Act Two. Uh, Sister Act Two gets flack, but that is actually a pretty decent movie. Um, I actually just watched Sister Act with my kids again uh, recently, and they loved it. They want to watch the second one. We haven't watched it yet, but um, I remember actually two being better than one, uh, from what I remember. But my uh, Nana, I'm gonna go. Nana and I used to watch the first Sister Act all the time. Yeah, I'm a little I'm a little hesitant to say Sister Act two because I mean Greece is obviously a more popular movie and probably more historically loved. But I'm gonna go with Lauren Hill on this one. I, I really do enjoy Sister Act. Uh, I enjoy both, but I am going to go with uh, Olivia Newton-John in Greece. Oh, it's up to Mike. Uh, I'm gonna have to agree with my wife on this one and go with Greece. If I if I'm going yeah, with now the, voted on all of these, if I'm going with the more the the classic acting and uh, something that has stood the test of time even though it's not my favorite movie gotta go with olivia newton john sister act two back in the habit <laughs> sees whoopi goldberg reprising her role as dolores she finds herself coming to the aid of her nun friends who need her help to save her old school. she has no friends mostly the original most of the original cast <laughs> reprises their roles um it did receive generally negative reviews but um if you're a fan of the first one you're going to be a fan of the second one um <laughs> So, what? I'm laughing at. Uh, <laughs> so it was the first 2018. And he said, "I wish it took me longer." <laughs> <laughs> it was the first movie Lauren Hill was in. So, mm -hmm. um, and then she There's became that. a rap star. Yeah, they. Um, yeah. So she did that movie, and then, and then they uh, Praz and Wyclef approached her and said, "Hey, you're gonna be in the Fugees now." And then mm. they blew up into 
one of the best acts uh, of that time. And then Lauren Hill obviously went, ended up going solo and mm-hmm. just like exploded um, uh, with the miseducation of Lauren Hill, which is a mm-hmm. critic's band as one of the greatest hip hop records. She sings, she raps, she does all of that. Um, yeah, she does. Yeah, she does. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, I didn't know this also. She has six children. Uh, wow. She beats me. I only have four. Uh, <laughs> so. Well, if you steal one of hers, you'll both have five. There you go. Uh, she's also earned several yeah. Guinness World Records as well, including one for being the first female rapper to earn a diamond certification in the U.S. Uh, wow. She also won a Grammy Award for the Best Rap Album as a member of the Foodies. What? Best Rap, rap. rap. Best okay. rap album. That's not what you said. I said okay. that. That's <laughs> what I'm saying. Best rap album. That's what I said. I mean, she's obviously it was, talented. It was the breast rap album. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> all of all of her rapping in the movie was actually uh, freestyled or ad libbed. Uh, for anyone that doesn't know what freestyling is, uh, if you're not hip like us, she made it up on the spot. <laughs> <laughs> she think she thinked of it right away. All right, hey, here we are. <laughs> Tyrese, go. four brothers, greatest <laughs> oh, movie of all time, oh, versus Eminem's Eight Mile. <laughs> I don't know where I'm going, guys. With this one. Yeah, four brothers, one of the greatest movies ever made. I'm <laughs> gonna have to go with Eminem, Eight Mile. Obviously, uh, probably one of the most influential movies uh, in my time period. Growing up in high school, uh, everyone knew Eminem, listened to Eminem at some point, whether you hated him or loved him. He made an impact, uh, and seeing Eight Mile and where he came from, and so many other great people in that movie. Uh, I'm going with that. Yeah, I don't think this is a tough choice. choice. I'm going to surprise um, you with this one. Because Four Brothers is no, such a great movie. It is no, a great not, movie. Def- no, it's definitely I'm going to win my own. Sorry, Tyrese. Yeah. Not that you didn't no. do a good job. But just... No contest. No, he's I mean, no Mark Wahlberg. No, he is no. And 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 I, I think I also had Tyrese on my list for Too Fast, Too Furious. Uh, uh yeah i can't stand those movies, still so i didn't I couldn't still do uh would have lost to eminem and eight mile so yeah i mean uh, yeah that's a tough Tyrese one. does a lot of stuff acts sings models Model. right i believe um sweet stars lady, in I my forgot. dreams <laughs> i forgot he sang sweet <laughs> sweet lady I say i forgot but he sang sweet lady which was a huge hit in 98 um, um there's another song that he did I can't think of off the top of my head, but he's a really terrific uh, musician. And then, yeah, the two Fast and Furious movies, even though they've gone on to way overdo it uh, with yeah. all of them. You um, don't say. Sta- he's a staple in those <laughs> movies, right? They Dude, went into there's space. There's two more coming out in 23 yeah. and 24. <laughs> oh, there's God. Fast and Furious 10, part one and two. Oh, uh, they're, doing the, but, they're doing the part one and two? Yeah, it's Twilight. With is it because cars. they went into space in the last one? So now did they really go to like, space? That didn't they happen, went did they? into they went into space. No, they didn't. Did they, they went. I'm not. They went into space, dude. I'm not kidding. What? How how would that even happen? Now, in this movie, they well, they they, they didn't go to space. Teslas. They, go to space. <laughs> <laughs> they got some. Why would I lie yeah. about them going into space? They went into space. But they how did they go to space? And then, and then they oh, had no. to go park for 30 minutes to get it, <laughs> get it charged. How did they how did they drive on the ice and shoot rockets at each other? That's way better than going They drove into space. on the side of a building in the movie before that, and you're doubting that they went into space. <laughs> <laughs> well, first off, did you forget he starred in almost every great 90s show? He was on Hanging with Mr. Cooper, he was on Martin, he was on The Parenthood, he was on Sister Sister, he was on Moesha. Oh, Not Moesha. to mention, he was on The Masked Singer, one of the worst shows ever made. <laughs> was he? Oh, was oh, he in there? Yeah. Oh, Don't get my wife all riled up about that one. I Looks like Timothy is season. agreeing with you. They went to space. Uh, yes. I mean, Jason went to space. Yeah, that was bad, too. Jason X is good not company. a great movie. No, it's a terrible movie. <clears throat> uh, good but puns. Hey. There were good puns in it, though. I mean, at the end of Greece, they, they started to go to space. Oh, that's so true. Like, Some people say should, that that's actually... These two should have been on space. <laughs> Uh, but then they do it. But Greece anyways, too. <laughs> nobody cares about Greece too. Okay. All right. uh, Mark Wahlberg, Instant Family <laughs> versus Jennifer Lopez, Selena. I'm a little PO'd about this because Instant Family is an amazing movie. I actually really love it. Um, but Jennifer Lopez and Selena is like life changing. 
Uh, I saw that movie at the Park Theater in Cranston by myself because no one wanted to see Selena. <laughs> um, like there was no one else so. in the theater? Yeah, no, like was I was literally, I went to the theater by myself because no one would see it with me. Andy was probably like, nah, man, I got to play baseball. And he wouldn't come with me. Well, so. that's just because no one wanted to go with you to go see the movie. Because <laughs> <laughs> that's weird. No, at the time, Jennifer Lopez wasn't well known. I mean, she only had, what, the Fly Girls? Yeah. Uh, you know, with, with uh, in that. In Living uh, Color. In Living Color, thank you. Um, but Mark Wahlberg, Instant Family, if you have not seen this, it is a funny movie. Rose Byrne is in it as well. Um, not to mention it's the rise of Dora the Explorer. I can't remember her name. Um, she's been in a bunch of stuff since then, including Dora the Explorer. Um, I'm going to go with Jennifer Lopez, Selena, sadly. I haven't seen Instant Family, but I feel oh, like, I feel like, well, those are the only three movies on this list I think I haven't seen. Uh, but I feel like I, I, I still would have chosen Jennifer Lopez and Selena. You might was... have, but Instant Family, you would have thought twice. You would have been like, oh man, I really wish. I... Oh, Isabella Merced, by the way, is her yes, name. Isabel. Octavia Spencer's in this. Uh, Isabella yeah. play, went on to play uh, Dora the Explorer, which is another funny movie uh, that shouldn't be as funny as it is. Um, but it is. Um, she yeah. also went on to do uh, Sweet Girl with um, uh, what's that dude's name? Uh, I don't, I don't Jason know. Momoa. Jason Momoa. Oh, uh, great Aquaman movie. Or just, or just spirit. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> just like, so RJ, thanks. Yeah, uh, <laughs> she's also in a Netflix movie called Let It Snow, which I actually really enjoyed as well. Um, what is uh, happening right now? Man, I was on the fence with this one because I agree with all of your statements. Both movies are really great. I haven't seen Selena in a really yeah. long time, so I was, I was more on the side of Instant Family. But is it Mark Wahlberg's acting? I don't know. I think the storyline in itself is is kind of what did it. Um, Brings I, I still a tear think to my like a job. I I teared up. I teared up. It's a, it's a really sad powerful movie um mm -hmm. but yeah mark Wahlberg, he was definitely uh marky mark and the funky bunch back in the he's day he's hilarious he sure he was. was he's great was he's in great. his in his stand around in his tidy whiteies for all those <laughs> modeling gigs he was a model uh, yeah i mean he was in new kids on the block until he left to go do his own thing and then i think he's still right. new kids right they're still doing their thing maybe no they are for sure yeah, they're actually doing a uh, tour um, with Salt and Pepper and and Vogue. Oh, and not <laughs> not not and not the other uh, it expose. It's actually so. Get this. <laughs> first off, it's called the Mixtape Tour to 2022. New Kids on the Block, Salt and Pepper, and Vogue, and Rick Astley. Never gonna give you up. Good. Stuff. Yeah. Does he just open the show with that song and then leave? Because that's all. I, I mean, I know he, two songs from him. He has two songs. Yeah, I was gonna say he had one other hit, and then that I kind of only know two hits from him: Salt and Pepper and En Vogue, and I probably know like four from New Kids. So I wouldn't pay money to go see that. Yeah, that's but. like a solid hour of entertainment right there. That's yeah. true, but I mean, definitely worth the four hundred dollars you'll be paying for that ticket. He's also in uh, <laughs> Blue Bloods, which is uh, no, that's Donnie. We're thinking of the wrong guy. Mark Wahlberg is not in New Kids. He's no, in he... Marky Mark and the Funky Bunch. It's Donnie yes. Wahlberg. But Mark Wahlberg started as a member of New Kids on the Block, and then he left. Did he? Yes. He, he did start as a... Yeah. He was 13 when he joined New Kids on the Block, and then he left. Yeah. And then Donnie produced the Marky Mark and Funky Bunch record. I'm so confused right now. Yes. Look at that Mark Wahlberg, though. Why is he Mark... only... Why is he never wearing <clears> It was only like a few months it was before they took off. Yeah. 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 Really? Donnie is sure. all Donnie's also that. an actor. Yeah. Oh, there he is. It's, yeah. He it's in my notes, months. my guy. He quit First after off, only <laughs> months. Then Joey McIntyre. Jordan Knight. Yeah. Joey McIntyre. He's the man. Yeah. Jordan Knight. Yeah. Joey McIntyre, Jonathan Knight, and Danny Wood. <laughs> he was uh, out Andy, out. did you finish Fuller yeah. House, by the way? Yes. I just finished it this week. And Joey McIntyre at the end as the 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 pastor. Super cool. Uh super cool move. So spoiler yeah, alert. Good. Great. Sorry, I spoiled Fuller House for you. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure my wife told me, and I just blocked it out. Um, 
Anyways, did we vote? <laughs> I feel like I yeah, yes. Yeah. Uh, Selena's moving on. That's why we did oh, all that talking about the Wahlberg or as, family. Or as I spelled it, Salina. Salina. <laughs> all right. Well, hey, next up, we've got uh, Ludacris in Crash versus Madonna mm. in League of Their Own. Uh, I'm sorry. She's in a League of Her Own. It's Madonna. <laughs> oh, show. That's one of my favorite Crash. movies uh, that I can watch all the time. Anytime it's on, I'm going to sit there and watch it. So good. It's actually Anytime. a pretty tough choice. Come on, Gina Davis. She's probably one of my first like but we're old t- lady crushes. But we're talking about Madonna, not everyone in the movie. But <laughs> it's such a good movie, and if I don't like the movie, why would I like Madonna? Madonna's great in it. She she plays a a jerk uh, with Rosie O'Donnell, who's also a jerk. <laughs> she just plays life. herself. She plays herself. That's pretty much it. Yeah. Yeah. But it's good. They're a good. They're a good duo of jerks. I'm going. I'm it's going Madonna. with Ludacris. Right. Uh, you, you can... Oof, Madonna moving on. Look, you're watching me do it. Here it is. <laughs> Some it's BTS. Magic, baby. That's not a question. Not to say that Ludacris but isn't it? good in that movie, but no. Definitely not Madonna in A League of Their Own. It's two different two different levels. I don't know. I feel like what? Ludacris. Is... I'm sorry. I feel... I'm sorry. Time out. Time out. Mr. I want to always bust andrew's nuts uh about not seeing movies what did, what did he what did tim just say he didn't He's see league league of their own of their own you what <laughs> you what gina friggin davis Gina friggin davis tom hanks rosie oh yeah tom friggin hanks tom hanks would be 30 hanks pounds to like be in longest, that movie woody takes like the longest piss movie. ever yes this is a historical I don't movie. Know why it's a very good one. Shame, shame, for so shame. Good. But anyways, Ludacris and Crash. Um, yeah. Uh, you I know mean, what? Crash. I actually I owned that DVD for a very long time. Yeah. And now I good. can't remember what in the world that movie's about. That's it's, Matt. Uh, Brendan uh, Fraser is in it as a jerk, yeah. right? Every Brendan Fraser a jerk. Yeah, it's a post 9 yeah. 11 movie and sort of analyzing how everyone now perceives other people after 9-11 so it's it's right. kind of a social commentary it's a little twisted and, and, yeah um yeah he plays a character named uh anthony do i remember like wasn't it brandon frazier and sandra bullock played a couple that was like super racist i can't remember not him um it was brandon frazier matt and sandra dylan, bullock, matt right? dylan was in the movie Oh, he was the police he was, officer. He was the, he was the police officer. Yep. <laughs> what? Tim. Tim's just throwing shade at Andy. Yeah, he is. <laughs> but he um, does less than three, yeah, so. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm never the wild card. Yes, not... Uh, um, uh, Evelyn's Gate, not a uh, feel good movie at all. No. It, it's, well, it's, it's it's not up there with like Requiem for a Dream, see. like make you, you feel know who bad. else? You know who else is in it? Ryan Felipe Flappe. <laughs> Goodness. And Michael Friggin Pena. Michael Michael Pena's in that. He's the man. Like, um, and his, his character in that movie, um, that's when, one of the moments with his daughter is like tear jerk. You like, Ludacris is a cool, cool part. I mean, like we're talking about everybody else but except for <laughs> everyone but the person who was on the. Brand. Oh, and Luda, Luda I mean, is like Luda. Get out the way, and then uh, I don't know what other movies has he's done. Oh, he's been in the Fast and Furious movies. Here's another. Yep. Uh, he was. Oh, he's joined Tyrese. Yep. Uh, he was in Hustle and Flow. Uh, oh yeah, American Hustle. He was in New Year's Eve, which is a terrible movie. Uh, oh. he was in uh show dogs, yeah. And RJ, you are right, Brendan Frazier and now I'm, yeah, Brendan Frazier and um Sandra Bullock were a couple in that. If movie. I remember right, I thought they didn't think they were racist, but they did a lot of racist things, and they're like, nah, so we're, we're not like that. I can't yeah, remember, yeah. but Something mm. like that. um, I just saw The Lost City uh last week with uh Sandra Bullock and Channing Tatum and uh Bruce Willis uh sandra bullock still doing it man she she did so good in this movie it was so much fun if you're looking for a fun comedy uh the lost city was actually really really good uh hey 
moving on. Nope. There we go. Oh my god, we're still in the first there round. Hey. <laughs> no, we're not. We're we're in the second round now. Tupac okay, cool. uh, in uh in Juice versus Judy Garland in Wizard of Oz. So different. Mm. Oh my word. Could not be any different here. Yeah. Uh, I know Juice Judy Garland was one of the most prolific hip hop artists of all time against Tupac, <laughs> who had a pet dog in the of Oz. Judy Garland in the Juice of Oz. <laughs> the Wizard of Juice. <laughs> Uh, I'm going with Judy Garland in this one, man. I didn't see Juice, so I apologize to all the Juice fans out there. Um, I think you've been seeing Juice. I, I think I might still have to go with Judy Garland. All right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You got to go with Judy on this one. Um, not n- not to, um, you know, diminish Tupac's acting abilities. He's actually a, a fantastic actor. Um, I think he's trained, a trained actor, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. I mean, not to mention some of his music is like this, you know, the 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 music of our of our childhood, man. Growing up listening to um uh, California. I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> uh yeah, and then changes, not to mention changes, but changes. he was in a bunch of other stuff. Juice was only a second film, uh, but he yeah. was in uh a different world, poetic justice above the rim. Um and I'm trying to think uh, of the other one. Was it in living color? Good um, locked. No, he was not living color. Yes, he was. Yeah. Not the show. The movie. <clears throat> oh, okay. I was like in the show. Oh no, it was a show. <laughs> Wait, no, he was in. What? He was in in living color as himself in season five. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's probably a musical guest. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah. Because at the end, but they would just we'll have to look it up. I could be. Wrong. I know he he auditioned twice for this movie. Um. And he went uh, with his friend Anthony Tretch, Chris. Ooh, Tretch um, from uh, Boys Tretch. to Men and Tretch did a song together. What? Super good. Oh, I was like, yeah, Tretch it's, it's one of the best songs ever. <laughs> Boys to Men, Tretch, Method Man, uh, Buster Rhymes, and somebody else that I can't remember. Uh, it's called Vibin', the New Flavor Remix. Best song. Um, but uh, yeah, he didn't even go originally to uh audition for this film he was just going with his friend and when he got there decided he wanted to audition and he got the part uh by throwing a chair during his audition so apparently they liked his uh his intensity that much yes his passion yeah (laughs) i just get yelled at will smith in bad boys versus ice cube boys in the hood hmm Battle of the Boys. <laughs> the bad <laughs> boys in the hood. Are ones with an S. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm going to go with uh, bad boys with an S. <sighs> I'm going with Ice Cube, Boys in the Hood. Ooh, up to Mike. I'm just thinking about which movie I enjoy more in, in this one. Bad Boys, for sure. I think, I think they're both good movies. Um, and even though Boys in the Hood has more to say, uh, I think I'm gonna have to go with Will Smith and Bad Boys for this one. Nice, Mike Lowry. All right, tell us a little bit about Boys in the Hood, show Mandy. I well, I like Ice Boys Cube in the Hood. Or Mike. Boy. Yeah, this is another uh, John Singleton movie. Mm-hmm. Um, critically acclaimed. That's got Cuba Gooding Jr. in it as well. Lawrence Fishburne, Nia Long, Regina King, Angela Bassett. Um, it's basically <laughs> South Central LA um, during a lot of uh, you know gang violence and stuff like that. And it just kind of showcases kind of what that was like. John Singleton, I think, kind of wrote it about just kind of what he saw. His childhood. Yeah. Up. Yeah. Would have um, been more realistic if they talked about the violence in Hollywood. Yeah, and I, <laughs> so I, Ice Cube played Doughboy. Um, and this kind of really, I mean, he took off like he was already a famous, you know, uh, rapper at this point, you know, mm-hmm. coming from NWA and then into his solo stuff. Um, and then obviously from here, like his acting career really took off, right? Yeah. He's been on uh, Friday. Um, oh, what was that? What was that movie with Kevin Hart? Uh, the yeah. bully one. There's so many. The yeah, fight. So like, there like a yeah, fight. Twenty one Jump Street. He was in. Like, Ooh, he was in that was a yeah. Good, uh, so much. 
so many good stuff. Uh, um, and, and this movie was filmed like 10 blocks away from where some of the actors actually lived at the time. Um, hmm. But they wouldn't even walk home. Like that's how dangerous the neighborhood was that they filmed this in. Like they filmed it where everything would have been happening at the time. Um, you know, they had a, an extra van parked on the set just in case there was a drive by shooting. So they would have protection um, or like a getaway vehicle. Like it was kind of crazy. Um, you know, when you, when you think about it, I mean, they were kind of, they were in the hood for like, for real, you know, ice cube is most famous for going. Yay. Yay. <laughs> so he does it all the time. Is he also in the, I uh, think he's more famous. Is he also so, in those stone oh, cold commercials now? I've been seeing this. It's like stone no cold idea. ice cube and somebody else talking about laundry detergent. <laughs> 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 I'm dead serious. <laughs> they call like the Stone Cold Hotline, and it's all like Ice Cube because he's cold and Stone Cold. Oh, okay. Now I get it. I was like, what do they even have to do with each other? I forgot what's. Now I need to know what the uh, commercial is. Hold on. It is. Oh, here it is. The Tide Cold Callers with Ice Tea. It's Ice Tea. Sorry. Uh, Steve Austin Vanilla Ice. <laughs> it's so bad. Uh, and Sub Zero there too. Sub Zero. Oh, that'd be good. That'd be From good. Mortal Kombat. Uh, yeah. Next up, we have Olivia Newton John in Greece versus Eminem in Eight Mile. Another battle of the similar <laughs> movies here. Yeah, uh, totally the same. I mean, Olivia oh, Newton super hardcore. Eminem not on her level, but uh, <laughs> I am, am going to go Eight Mile Mark and uh, freestyle pretty good. Mm. <laughs> Prolific battle rapper. Um, Olivia Newton John didn't throw up his mom's spaghetti though. <laughs> <laughs> gotta wake up uh it's eminem eight mile for me yeah are we just yeah. saying dish words now we've got tide and grease i don't know tide is tough on grease mm, that's right sorry gets Wait, out those spaghetti stains i said eminem i said eight mile with andy yeah oh okay yeah, yeah. well there we go so yeah, I think we go. just made everyone mad with the kicking Greece out, but that's okay. Uh, let's talk about Greece for a little bit. Uh, maybe not talk about the fact that they fly away at the end. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I think we should talk about them flying away. No. Um, it's jo- I mean, John Travolta. Uh, I mean, the, the music in that movie is still sung at every karaoke bar uh, everywhere. Uh, hopelessly Devoted to You. Uh, big, big hit. Summer Nights. Um, Michelle Pfeiffer is in that as well. Um, it's a good, it's a good movie. It's not my thing. It's not my thing. Yeah, not mine either. But there's no there's no doubting that Olivia Newton John was a very talented musician. She had three Grammys before she was 25, uh, and had another Grammy afterwards. So she has a total of four. Uh, for those that Your don't math, do math, math good. Like <laughs> and uh, had one record of the year before she was 26. So. Um, that's pretty, pretty big stuff. Uh, cause I can't say I've done any of those things. I, be- I can barely dress myself nope. in 26. <laughs> yeah. You just learned how to tie your shoes yesterday. So wh- when did this movie come out? This movie came out in 1978. <clears throat> yeah. John yeah. Travolta was born in 1954, mm-hmm. uh, which makes him 24 years old. Uh, yeah, he was- playing. A high, a school, high school, school student. Yep. That's not too uh, far off. And then off. it's not too far off, I guess. Olivia Newton John was 1948, <laughs> it's not too far though. Off. It's he was out of high school off. for like eight years already. <laughs> yeah, but there were some people in that movie who were in their 30s playing high yeah. school. I mean, Olivia Newton John was 1948. So 58, 68, 78, 30 years old when that yeah. movie came out, pretty much. Um, none of them looked like they were in high school. That's no. Fine. No. Um, but yeah, hey, moving on. Uh, the last one in our top eight, uh, we've got Jennifer Lopez in Selena uh, versus Madonna in League of Their Own. Tough one. Ooh. Very tough one for me. Two pop star sensations. Which one do we like more? Uh, I'm going to go with Jennifer Lopez, Selena on this one. Uh, Madonna didn't play a huge, I mean, she played a good part in League of Their Own, but Jennifer Lopez is Selena. <clears throat> the whole movie is her. Uh, she did a great job in it. Honestly, before I knew who Jennifer Lopez was, um, that was Selena, man. That's who I pictured 
when I thought about Selena, like when I was listening to her music, it was like, that's Jennifer Lopez. <laughs> like it was so synonymous with each other. Um, Jennifer Lopez did a great job of really getting into that role. Uh, too bad later we turned out, oh, that's Jennifer Lopez. I don't like her as much. But <laughs> at the time, uh, she was very good. She also did Anaconda, which almost made it onto this list, Ooh, in my opinion. But. That's a, That one's okay. Okay. <laughs> that's an okay movie. <laughs> okay. Okay. Okay, I'm okay. Going, uh, we got one vote for Madonna from uh, Lori and one from uh, Caitlin for Selena. I'm I'm gonna make it difficult for Mike because I'm gonna go with Madonna, League of Their Own. Okay. Mm. I am mad at you. That, mm. that one movie that Tim did not see. Yeah, I mean this. This is gonna a, win this one. It's probably the, it's probably <laughs> the only is, movie. <laughs> <laughs> this is a tough choice, but I mean RJ kind of nailed it when he said that Jennifer Lopez is Selena. Um. Yeah, Madonna is yeah. not a League of Their Own. There is no character no. named that. That's right. There was. There was not. <laughs> and this was. <laughs> this was at the point in her career where she was already like one of the biggest, if not the biggest, uh, music star. And I'm talking about Madonna here. Um, Wait, and, uh, Madonna was a musician, like a good one. Yeah, was she famous? Like, she did a couple songs. Oh, yeah, she had like a couple. Okay. Yeah, she had like uh She sang uh she sang like Rhythm Nation and like <laughs> with Michael Jackson. Yeah. She did a couple songs like that. Um but even when she joined on in this movie, a lot of people didn't know what to think. Um some people actually quit. Um Deborah Winger was um actually oh, gosh, I'm glad she wasn't in that movie. Oh my word. Yeah. And then uh you know, Gina Davis took that spot, but Deborah Winger acu accused. Um, Penny Whoa, Marshall. Deborah Winger was going to take Gina Davis's spot. Yeah, Gina Davis <laughs> makes League of Their Own, and without Gina and, uh, Davis, there is no League of Their Own. It's a League of Everybody's. Who cares? <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, she accused Penny Marshall of making an Elvis film uh, because you're taking you the biggest pop star at the time and uh, trying to shoehorn them into a film that they don't belong in. I guess. Yeah, but they did a good job of not making it about Madonna. Like I, when you when I remember yeah. League of the Run, I remember Gina Davis and her sister, who I can't remember her name, but <laughs> or something. Kit. Kit Kat. Um, Kit Kat. I mean, Madonna's also well known for being in Evita as well, which won her a Golden Globe Award. Uh, not to mention she was in Dick Tracy and Desperately Seeking Susan. Um, she's got some great songs. Honestly, uh, one of my favorite songs from her is in League of Their Own. Um, it was, uh, this used to be my playground. Um, and, and I know I get a lot of flack for that, but it's a great song. Uh, she does really, really good in it. All okay, right. cool. Uh, yeah. Hey, <laughs> I did. I thought you had more to say, but I mean, That's I'm not going to, I'm not going to disagree with you. So here we are guys. Uh, I don't know if I'm surprised. These are really good movies. Judy Garland, wizard of Oz, Will Smith, bad boys, Eminem, eight mile, Jennifer Lopez, Selena. We got two ladies, two men. Uh, and they're both on different sides. This is perfect. Uh, how do you guys feel about this top four here? This is a good top four. Yeah, I like it. I like it. I like where we've ended up here. It's very strange movies if you think about them together. But yes. they all make sense being here. These would uh, not you know. uh, be a drive-in is... movie lineup. <laughs> or I mean, it is, maybe. It's the worst Selena, drive Wizard of Oz, or Bad Boys in 8 Mile. Who knows? Uh, um, yeah. Yeah, that's true. It could. It could work. Um, but hey, there we are. Sorry, I pressed the wrong button. I was trying to just change the top <laughs> thing, and all of a sudden we're here. This hey, is we're it. just we're just rushing to the thing that the people came to see. <laughs> um, all right, well, all right. Hey, uh, here we are. Dad jokes uh, for people yeah. at home who didn't get to see the cool logo. Uh, this is where we are. Uh, but yeah. Ouch! Is this a dad joke? What? Oh, we're, not, we're not doing the graphic. <laughs> he, he did the graphics. He did the graphics. Right. When the when the it comes up, nothing happened on my end. So uh, wow, oh, you know, for real? Oh yeah, no, the graphics went. Video, then... Okay, no, all it right. went. I'll take your word for it because it was there. It was the video <laughs> and audio is just all over the place. Yeah, you're having some issues. Um, <laughs> yeah. So I'm in last place. Andy's in second place. Yep. RJ's still winning somehow. I don't. Right. I don't know. So, yeah, I mean, everyone knows how this works. We all tell jokes. The other person picks a joke. We get points. I keep score. Everyone groans and has a bad time because these are bad jokes. 
<laughs> you up first, Mike? Yeah, yeah. Uh, hey, Andy, I recently yeah. started a, a dating app for chickens. Uh, yeah. It's not my everyday job, but it's just to help make hens meet. <laughs> All right, got to uh, chuckle out uh, RJ on that one. That's right. a good one. That's a good one. Hey, RJ, what do you call Hi. a gunslinger with glasses? Squint uh, Eastwood. <laughs> uh, man, those both I'm, suck. I, I'm gonna go with Mike on this one. There oh, we go. Yeah. <laughs> I actually liked Andy's joke better. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Andy. Well, what's your second one here? Doesn't matter anymore. <laughs> that was that was the that was the one. Um, hey, um, Mike, what yeah. does Jeff Bezos do right before bedtime? He puts pajamas on Amazon, Jeff Bezos. Uh, okay, I see. I, see. I knew the punchline into that one, that's why I didn't. Uh, know. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I'm sorry, I knew that one. Oh man, RG, you gotta um, keep current topics, dude. <laughs> yeah, my, he's like, my, Am- Amazon. Exactly. Was that I a didn't horror hear movie? Amazon. I heard pajamas on, and I didn't get the thing. Um, <laughs> he combines two words: there. pajamas and yeah, Amazon. And you, you put two words together, and it forms yeah. one. Yeah, it's, like it's a yeah. pun. We tell we tell jokes but here. RJ, we play so on words. Tell jokes. <laughs> <laughs> Telling my wife, jokes. And my, wife. my wife has insisted that I cease <laughs> making puns about classic Motown hits, or she's going to leave me. And I agreed to stop. In the name of love. That's it. Yeah, nothing. Crickets. <laughs> Crickets. <laughs> <laughs> My point goes to Andy. <laughs> oh, <you> suck. <laughs> Even though I knew the punchline uh, and it was still bad, but they were both bad. I like mine. <laughs> <that. laughs> Go ahead, RJ. I hope you have a better one. For me, <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh crap! What is this, guys? Yeah, some breaking news just came in. A load of Brillo pads was just stolen last night. The police are currently scouring the area. <laughs> Jesus, That's so stupid. Brillo pad scouring. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Song. I like that one. That Awful. Cool. Awful. Hey, so I was at the store the other day. I was stoked to see a Batman shaped shampoo bottle at the store, but I couldn't believe there was no conditioner Gordon. <laughs> <laughs> That's not good when Andy just bursts out laughing. <laughs> I guess I've lost. I didn't know where that was going. I was like, <laughs> Yeah, Mike gets the point on that. One. Uh, there we Mike's, go. Mike's making a Mike's making a comeback. There we go. Uh, Andy and I are now tied for last place, and RJ is still winning. That's how far ahead uh, he was. What's so the I, score though? What's the score? So I know how much to keep ahead here. You have you have seventeen. Andy and I both have fourteen now. Okay, oh. I got a I got a good lead so far. I got to keep yeah, it up for next that's week. That's pretty good. Yeah, yeah. Well, hey, for, that was it. That was that joke. Oh Conditioner. Uh, thank you, Lori, for the only LOL of the night. Um, <laughs> two. We got two was, LOLs from her. It's a tough one. It's both from Lori. It doesn't count. <laughs> there, okay, were there were different jokes. There were different. There's different timestamps. That's true. Ten oh um, six. Hey, 10. we're two, here. Two lols. Judy Garland, Wizard of Oz, Will Smith, Bad Boys, Eminem's Eight Mile, and Jennifer Lopez and Selena. Uh, let's start with Judy Garland versus Will Smith. The joke that we have been waiting, or the, I'm sorry, I don't know why I said joke. It's because I was reading Caitlin's thing. <laughs> <laughs> the matchup we've been waiting to see, Judy Garland, Will Smith. Watch out for that backhand. What are we going to do here? Oh, jeez. Oh, yeah. Judy Garland for me. Yeah, me too. Me too. Uh, and also, thank you, Caitlin. I, uh, I laughed hysterically as well. 
Yeah. <laughs> At least one person did. Yeah. I mean, Not she's right. People. She's right Man. down the hallway over here. So, I mean, this mic's pretty good. You might pick her up in the audio recording. If so, uh, Andy, that's got to go in the trailer. So, <laughs> did you hear her laugh when I'd said it? I, I don't know because we were all yeah. laughing. I think you were not laughing at my joke. You didn't enjoy <laughs> no, my joke. Not. You didn't choose it. <laughs> you don't. You don't know that. I was really animated with that one. I feel like I was into it. I feel like I made yeah. a, a good attempt. Yeah, no, you your delivery. I even looked directly into the camera. It I was very a hundred points sexy. for delivery, but we don't. We don't judge on delivery. I mean, we do judge a little bit on delivery. I mean, uh, but only if you've the joke won, is funny. You've won some <laughs> with your delivery. That's true. Just like Andy loses a lot with his delivery. <laughs> uh, not, what does that even mean? In jokes. Jokes. Oh, jokes. okay. I thought you were. All right, hey, so Wizard of Oz is moving on. Uh, I think we had two votes for the Wizard of Oz uh, yeah. so far. So uh, yeah, there I... it is. So let's talk about Will Smith and Bad Boys. Uh, classic comedy. Uh, Love Bad action. Boys. Yep. Uh, has Great. anyone seen the newest Bad Boys? Uh, I you do know, not. I heard mixed reviews. I like. I want to see liked it bad because boys. I mean, every. I liked Bad Boys, but now I'm just at the age where I just need a a, a guy with a good job and like. Who's <laughs> you need a stable boy. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! So um, uh, Will Smith almost uh, did not star in this movie. Arsenio Hall almost took his spot, and it was wow. going to be Arsenio That'd Hall be and Martin Lawrence. Imagine that madness. <laughs> um, I think Will Smith, he, as funny as he is, brought yeah, <laughs> he brought uh, uh, he brought the movie down a little bit with you know some seriousness because he can be a serious actor, and I think he kind of um, offset Martin Lawrence a little bit, but uh, you know, still good. Uh, I love Bad Boys. That movie, yeah. Mike, was that Michael Bay? That was Michael Bay. That's why everything explodes. That's explodes, right? That's how I was kind of like. <laughs> yeah, I think that was kind of like a lot of the criticism was their acting performance kind of got a little overshadowed by the explosions and stuff. Like it was a little bit like uh, just like to blow stuff up all the time. The but, whole mansion blows up. Yeah, but yeah. It, you know, their their chemistry, Martin Lawrence, Will Smith in this movie were was terrific, and yeah, obviously they went on to make the Bad Boys two one and. I mean Will Smith, um, right? Let's let's ignore what happened. <laughs> yeah, past, everything past before week. like everything last be week. Yeah. Well, he's, hey, he's a man. He's only a man. He's only a man. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you know, he's uh, as a Fresh Prince, as a solo artist. You know, music. I mean, is his, his songs live in infamy, right? And then his acting. I mean, the Fresh Prince of Bel Air. We yeah. listed it as our greatest show. Of the nineties, I believe. Um, of the nineties of all time, of the nineties, nineties of, yeah. of all time. Yep, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, see who Judy's going up against. Well, I first off, I, I we got a uh, Will Smith <clears throat> in Bad Boys. First off, I think he's the one. Isn't he producing uh, the new Bel Air? Um, because that so. new that new Bel Air is like fire. It's so good. If you haven't seen it yet, it's on Peacock. I think. Um, I really enjoy it. He does such a great job producing it. Um, not to mention, when I think of Bad Boys, I don't know why, but I always think of Ga Gabrielle Union from the second one. Yeah. Um, but I forgot that Taya Leone's in the first one. In the first one, yeah. Um, and she's great. She goes on to do it's many awesome things. Awesome, that movie. Uh, Deep Impact. And then she was just in Madam Secretary, which is a, a really, really good TV show in the last couple of years. But um, yeah, I had forgotten how many good people are in the bad boys films. I mean, even just in the first one, you've got Joe uh, Pantoliano, you got uh, Joey Marge, Bates. Helgenberger, and Nestor Serrano. If you look all those people up, you're going to be like, oh yeah, that dude's in everything. Yeah. Um, just first movie was huge. People. It was a blockbuster. Yeah. Uh, like Mike said, though, uh, Judy from The Wizard of Oz is in our finals, and we are now down to <coughs> Eminem, 8 Mile, versus Jennifer Lopez in Salina. Wait, Taya Leone was in a league of their own? What did she do? The sequel, now? League of Their Own 2. I don't think there was a League of Their Own 2. <laughs> Hold on. I just, I, thought my, I just thought my wife couldn't spell. Uh, she was. She was Racine's first baseman. How do you know that? That's a very, She watches uh, that movie like 400 times a year. There's not <laughs> even is, 400 I mean, it's a great movie. A year, but... 
if you have cable, you probably watch it 400 times. It's like she's, ridiculous. She's probably seen that that movie more times than I've seen Terminator 2. That's saying something. <laughs> I've seen a lot of League of Their Own too, but I did not know Taylor Leone was in a new. Yeah, more you know. Dun, dun, um, dun, dun. But hey, here we are. Eminem, Eight Mile, Jennifer Lopez, Salina. Where are we? Listen, you only got one shot. I'm going with Eminem and Eight Mile on this one. Man, this one's actually really tough for me. I think they're both good acting performances. They're both great stories. Mm. And they're basically both biopics, right? I mean, they're both yeah. the real life stories of the people. <clears throat> I think uh, Selena Selena was a a about as close to uh true life story as you would get. I think Eminem's was more I don't think it was it was truly his upbringing because his character in the movie was not him. I think he played uh, a character that was very similar okay. to him. Yeah. But, uh, uh, you know, I'm great torn. Movie nonetheless. Part of me wants to vote for Jennifer Lopez just to see two uh, powerhouse women in the finals here. Um, but at the same time, Eminem is really good, man. And the music from all oh, the music from both is so good. Think about it. Mm. Someone's I'm going pick. nowhere. Uh, Andy, you did you vote nowhere. already? Yeah. He did. He voted for Eminem, Eminem, right? He did. Yeah. Oh gosh, I am gonna go with Jennifer Lopez. Podcast, guys. Oh God. <laughs> oh God! I'm gonna I'm gonna leave it up to Andy. I'm gonna leave it up to Mike here. I would I was uh, gonna say I'll just make it easy for you and vote for Eminem, but then you tried to make. Well, then it luckily I went me. first to make it. Uh, to make yeah, it more drum, no. dramatic. Yeah, as great as Jennifer Lopez is. Uh, I think I th I think Eminem's performance is more surprising at how good it really was, um, and you know a lot of what he talked about in his music, you know, he put into the movie. Um, he always talked about his childhood and upbringing and all this stuff, and seeing that on the screen, I think, um, not to. Uh, say that you know this the selena story is not heartbreaking because obviously it is but uh you know i think the i think the events that happened in eight mile are a little bit uh they're rougher yeah a little bit rougher and not so abrupt uh so sorry here's jennifer my problem lopez. too though jennifer lopez literally <clears throat> did nothing good uh <laughs> <laughs> i mean oh okay <laughs> i was wondering where you is... go with that comment no, I mean, no, so you have Selena, I which I enjoyed. Anaconda was pretty good. Maybe but Manhattan. since then, all she's done... Dude, she did Geely. I mean, come on. All it is all right, is so Netflix, gobble, gobble. like, love stories. Well, you Made in Manhattan, Geely. I, I gave you uh, Anaconda. But other than that, I mean, she just came out with a new the one with planner. Owen Wilson that I watched on Peacock. Um, oh, how and it. It's so bad. Um, but she really didn't yeah, do much. Actually. I mean... What to expect when you're expecting? Nah, I'll like, give you that. That's actually a pretty good. One, one of the most popular uh, people on the face of this earth. She hasn't done anything. <laughs> yeah, but does that make her good? I mean, I don't know I don't if I really like so. most of her music. What is she? What are her singles that I can remember here? I mean, she had "If You Had My Love," "Waiting for Tonight." Oh my word! One of the worst songs ever made. Didn't Waiting she have that tonight. "Welcome to Miami" song? Also? Ah! Welcome oh, to Miami, isn't that Will Smith? That oh, Will no, Smith. wait, that was Will Smith. Didn't she have a song about Miami? <laughs> she had a song about Miami. There's No, no Jenny from the Block, New York, Miami, yeah, close. Jenny yeah, I mean, the they're on the same coast. <laughs> <laughs> she had uh, she had Jenny from the Block. She had I'm Real with Ja Rule. Yeah, oh, love no. Don't cost a thing. That song is a train wreck. It's the, every song she ever did is a train every wreck. Every song There's with Ja Rule good. is a train wreck. There's uh, nothing good about Jennifer Lopez's music. Also in Fast and the Furious. Uh, where Ja Rule says, No, my car! <laughs> 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 Not to That's mention, how... she was one of the worst judges on American Idol. Wasn't she on American Idol, too? That was so, so bad. I can't I can't get into it. She's RJ. Uh, allegedly. What did she do? What, a, what? Allegedly? Allegedly. <laughs> we got to put a cap on this so we don't get attacked. Uh, why oh i'm sorry was jennifer lopez gonna be our next interview uh, i don't know yes. i mean if she wants to up already well now she's not because we're trash talking her so we've ruined it 
<laughs> she was in uh, The Boy Next Door when she like had like a crush on a 19-year-old kid next door or something like that. Uh, that, that was not very good. Marry Me. That was the name of the new one on, on Peacock that I just saw. It was terrible. So it just goes to show that Selena was her best movie and was the only one that deserved to be on this bracket. Other than Anaconda. <laughs> I enjoyed Anaconda, too. Okay. But hey, here we are. Man. Judy Garland, Wizard of Oz. This is such a weird final. Yeah, game. it is. Judy Garland's Wizard of Oz versus Eminem's 8 Mile. Now, let's, let's try to separate a little bit here. Because if we're going to talk about classic movies of all time wizard of oz kind of wins automatically mm -hmm. i think we should talk about the performance itself who did a better job acting i agree in these movies well i didn't even know judy garland was a musician singer prior mm -hmm. to wizard of oz so when we pulled up who's <laughs> who should be on this list and i said oh shoot judy garland uh then reading you know into her history um but <clears throat> her performance in Ms. of Oz was was obviously really good um she won the first grammy award for a woman for album of the year oh it's that's impressive yeah learn something new yeah and she she was she had worked for mgm before she uh got the part in wizard of oz and this is the movie that really elevated her career where she went from being a featured player so to say um as sort of like a second tier actress into becoming the superstar that she was um so and then music can, we, can we just talk about judy garland was yep. a rock star in life that woman was married five times <laughs> and had three children one of them being liza minnelli um she was four foot eleven and died at 47 years old of a drug overdose. Crazy life. 47 years old. That's that's child acting for you. I, that's true. <laughs> uh, man, uh, what did you say about a movie? Was there a movie about her? No, I said that movie didn't help those problems. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, there it is. Wizard of Oz. I mean, Wizard of Oz is classic. Everybody's seen it. Whether you hate it or you love it, you've seen it. So, um, great singing in it as Wizard well. Of Oz, Wizard, of, Wizard of Oz, I feel like every American family is like lined up and be like, let's watch Wizard of Oz together. And Cranston, Rhode Island's like, let's watch Eight Mile together. <laughs> <laughs> is, are you saying that Eight Mile is Cranston's Wizard of Oz? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Except the yellow brick road is not made out of yellow bricks, it's just pee on the ground. Like white rock man road. cheddar bar. <laughs> Makai Pfeiffer, man. Brittany Murphy. Oh yeah. Makai huh? Pfeiffer, oh, man. Anthony Mackey, I forgot. Um oh yeah, yeah he uh, was in that. I, I mean yeah. I think what like Eminem didn't really have to act. He was just be yourself, be who, who you are. Um, so like where Judy Garland had to had to act, Eminem was just like all right, I'll just be me, which may, I don't know. Maybe will be tougher. Like someone says, act like yourself. Then you freeze up. You're like, how the hell do I act like myself? I don't know. Um, how do I make myself seem interesting? Um, Dude, not did, to mention one of his co-workers was X to the Z. <laughs> Exhibit, man. He pimped his movie. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, and obviously Eminem, I mean hasn't done anything musically that we can really speak of obviously so not yeah just, uh, I don't know one of the, of the greatest songs. hip hop artists of all time one of the most <laughs> popular just musical acts of all time yeah. uh he wrote the music for this movie in between filming takes like that's how busy this guy was and then obviously awesome he wrote contract. yeah he wrote lose it um um uh, and uh, that song was absolutely huge like it, and he just uh performed it at the super bowl and the place went crazy so you know is I there think... literally any other movie that eminem had done <clears throat> uh does he need to no i'm just wondering <laughs> was he literally I don't, in anything else i don't i don't I, recall I think this might be the only movie he's in I don't know, let's look and it yet up. we're about to put him in the finale of of top he's performances a, hey it was that musicians. good uh, I mean, it was. 
uh, I don't know if we brought it up or not because I wasn't looking, but Tim brings up a good point here. Uh, you know, Eminem was good in the movie because it was his element. <clears throat> Judy right. Garland, uh, you know, for Wizard of Oz, obviously, was playing a totally different character than her life. Um, her singing, and it's great. Um, and, I mean, it's a classic movie that kids today still love. Um, so it's a movie that stands the test of time. There are movies from the, the 30s, 40s, 50s that my kids would never sit through. I well, would never sit through. To be fair, I don't know if my kids will like 8 Mile because they haven't seen it yet. <laughs> That's true. Um, all right. Well, hey, I, I'm voting. Here we are. Judy Garland, Wizard of Oz versus Eminem's 8 Mile uh, for the finale of Musicians in Movies. Uh, I'm going to go with Judy Garland, Wizard of Oz. Wow, I just totally disappointed Andy. <laughs> I don't I don't know if you I don't know if you did, did you? Uh he just literally he was deflated. There was he le air I left think, his body. I think um he was deep in thought. Someone should say something. He's not saying anything, so I'm just gonna say Judy Garland. So oh All gosh, right. what way to kill the drama. Yeah. I was <laughs> Right. I was also I was also gonna agree. It wasn't gonna go anywhere. Yeah. I, was just, uh, I knew it. I knew what he was. That was doing. called acting, yeah. RJ. See, I can do it too. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, hey, I am also we are. on a podcast with three dads. Judy Garland, Wizard of Oz, is the winner of musicians in movies. No clap. Are you enough. surprised? Are you shocked? Did we get it right? If you don't think we got it right, let us know uh, in the comments. Uh, as always, we're probably going to go through some other movies and other people that didn't make it possible. No. Oh, that, oh, that was abrupt. That uh, stopped abruptly, <laughs> yes. <laughs> I was not expecting uh, that. <laughs> now you can hear me typing. Um, well, hey, let's talk about the movies and the people that didn't make it onto our list, uh, but probably should have. Uh, Bette Midler and Hocus Pocus. Oh, oh yeah. Was she was on my list, list too. Uh, no, that I was on my list. I uh, forgot about that. Uh, that was on my list. Don't you don't need to we do have Mark Wal 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 Wahlberg on our list. So we definitely could have voted times. that one in. I forgot to I didn't see it and didn't put it on our <laughs> Oh wow. <laughs> Andy cool. messing it up. We uh we also had uh Independence Day, Will Smith. On we here. had a lot of Will Smith on Yeah, here. there was a yeah. lot of Will Smith. Um, I, had, I mean, he was the uh, he was the genie in the new Aladdin, which I think he yeah. did a great job in. He also uh, played very uh, hard to go against Robin Williams, but he did great. He played Muhammad Ali in uh, the aptly titled <laughs> film Ali. Yeah, Carmen. Do do any of you dads yeah. know Carmen? I know Carmen. Okay, right, the yeah. champion Carmen. Look it up after this. Greatest. Mm, no, thank you. Worst thing ever. Uh, Brandy almost made it to the list with I Still Know What You Did Last Summer, but Andy didn't want it on there. I don't Tina really Turner, remember Mad Max, it. Beyond Thunderdome. Lenny Kravitz, The Hunger Games. How about Mandy Moore in A Walk to Remember when Christians thought they could date people to save them? <laughs> uh, super good stuff. How about Mark Wahlberg and his fake wiener? And <laughs> He was Dirk Diggler. <laughs> Uh, Justin Timberlake. Nobody talks about how great of an actor that dude is. Uh, yeah. Alpha Dog. True. Uh, he was in a baseball movie that I really enjoyed, and then he just did Palmer on Apple Plus TV. Super good movie. There's that movie uh, in Justin Time Timberlake. also. In Time was good. Yes, good one. Friends with Benefits. Great movie with yeah. him and Mila Kunis. Childish uh, Gambino in Solo, oh, a yeah. Star Wars story. Mm. Yep, that's one of the Star Wars I haven't seen yet, so Absolutely. that's why I couldn't put it on there. Awesome. Um, People versus Larry Flint. Mm -hmm. How are we yeah. not talking about Lady Gaga though in A Star Is Born with Shallow? Lady Gaga, because I, I didn't see it. I think I think it's if I've seen good. it, it might change the list. Isn't that the Isn't that the movie we were talking about? That's about Judy Garland, or am I thinking of no, movie? no? A Star Is Born is about is a fake movie, oh. um, not about yeah. anybody, but it's her and Bradley Cooper, um, and she uh, does a song with him. He's a famous musician. She's not. He kind of brings her up and they fall in love. And I'm not giving anything away, don't worry. But it's a super good movie. You should definitely check it out. A Shallow is probably one of the one of the greater movie songs uh, of the 2000s. We didn't put Prince um, and Purple Rain on here. I had a bunch of Mark Wahlberg movies. The uh, Mark Wahlberg and the Italian Job, Four Brothers, The Other Guys, uh, other Perfect guys Storm great. from New England. Um, I hate that movie. What? I don't like that movie. Uh, I had Queen Latifah in Hairspray. <laughs> 
which is actually a really good movie. Uh, Zach Efron is in that as well. John Travolta dressed as a woman. Uh, good stuff. Janet Jackson um, in Poetic Justice. Mm. Uh, yeah, uh, I think that's about it. Yeah, Cher. Thank you, Lori. Uh, she was in... What was Cher in? Um, it's very famous, and I can't remember it. I don't know, but it sounds like we have up. a bunch of movies to make another bracket. Oh, man. <laughs> We can do it. Wink, wink. Wink, wink. Uh, she was in The Witches of Eastwick. Uh, which was ah, yeah. But anyways, hey, that was it. Thank you guys so much uh, for joining us for another episode of You Dab Me a Hello. As, as always, or as we said earlier, we are going to uh, let you guys have a sneak peek uh, of our uh, video and our uh, song dropping tomorrow on uh, Spotify, uh, Google, Amazon, pretty much anywhere you can get your um, iTunes. Oh, Mask. That was a great movie. Uh, I forgot all about that. Um, we're, we're gonna Mask, was Mask week. about the boy who had the crazy, who had the face uh, issue? Um, the sh- I think that's no, what you're thinking of. Um... Wait, is it that movie? I can't remember. I think it is. Because I think Cher's in it. Uh, hold on, I'm going to look this up. Jim Carrey in The Mask? Yes. <laughs> oh, Cher in, it's just called Mask, and it's about a boy who has a massive facial skull deformity. Um, yes. it's, um, and she, I think she plays the mother. Um, yep. Yep. but that was a good movie. My mom liked that movie. I saw it a lot on uh, TV in the nineties, but, um, uh, but Hey, as we said before, we're releasing a song tomorrow. Uh, so check it out. Uh, it is, I, I guess what you would call a uh, screamo electronic, uh, stuff. Uh, but yeah, uh, thank you for joining us. Uh, after the, uh, the outro, uh, you will then uh, go straight into, uh, the, the song. So check It'll it out. Uh, leave a comment for us if you can. Transported <laughs> to musical bliss. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, hey, you dab me a hello. You didn't ask for it, but here we are anyway. You dab me, you dab me, you dab me a hello. You dab me a hello.